Hi, Pisces. I'm going to light up a candle for you for today. Send you some good energy today. Or whenever you're seeing this video, it was meant to find you. Okay, so I'm using the Illuminati Tarot. So I got these on Amazon. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? Pisces, what is happening with Pisces? All right, let's see what's happening, Pisces. Starting off here with the Hermit, Virgo energy. The Queen of Swords. Getting this softness off of the Queen of Swords. Yeah, we have the Empress. So you are the Empress. You're going to be every queen that shows up here, Pisces, in different energies. You're very loving, giving, kind in this Empress energy, but you're you know not to let anyone come in and mess with you. It's like you've already been through the dark night of the soul with the hermit showing up. And then we have the nine of cups. The eight of cups. See, here we go, another queen, queen of wands. I feel like you're coming out of that queen of swords energy, Pisces. You've been um, holding up this sword, not really letting anyone in whether you realize it or not. Queen of Pentacles. Isn't that amazing? We have three queens here in the Empress. There's no gender in tarot. These are energies that I'm reading from these queens. The Fool, Aries energy. You're setting yourself free from that um, Queen of Swords energy, Pisces. There's like um, this energy here where you've been holding up your sword. You've been cautious. And then we have the Three of Cups. Okay. Okay. This is some type of a celebration here. Why is the hermit here? There's something here where you had to walk alone. You had to walk through a storm. You had to do this alone. You had to pull yourself out of a situation. King of Pentacles. You could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Could be any sign. Cancer is here with the chariot. And the seven of pentacles. Okay. 
Okay, so it looks like Pisces, it looks like a... Looks like you've really gone deep within looking for answers in this hermit energy. Answers from within. There's some type of challenge, um, a, a huge life event that placed you here in this hermit energy where um, you had to find answers yourself because you had to go through something very difficult. But I feel like um, you're taking the lessons that you've learned because the Seven of Pentacles is a reflection on the past. So you've taken the lessons that you've learned and you're charging forward with the chariot here. And then we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo Capricorn energy. This is something that you've invested in where there's going to be a, a big payout here, Pisces. And I'm seeing it coming in very quickly. This energy is moving quickly towards you. Some type of a big payout or an investment that you could have been doing over some time here. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Two of Cups. You're showing up here as the Queen of Swords. There's a lot of butterflies here. Like you've you've went through a change after this dark night of the soul. Holding up your sword because of this connection. The Two of Cups. There's someone here that you were connecting with. Why is the Two of Cups here? The Devil, Capricorn energy. This person, um, they could have had some addictions. They, um, I feel like this is someone who's hiding their, fa their face in shame right now. They haven't left your energy yet, but I feel like you held your sword up to this person. It's like the two of you were doing great here. Um, but then this person showed you another side to them, which I wanna find out about. Why is the devil here? This is me looking into your past right here, Pisces. Could have been dealing with a Taurus with the Empress showing up. Justice. So there could have been a, a legal matter here. Or I feel like there's a lot of truths that built up where you were, if you look back, into your past, which I'm doing right now, you can see that the scales were not balanced here in this connection. This is Libra energy, but I feel like you were slowly pushing this person away and this person felt you slowly pushing them away, not accepting what they had to say you weren't completely in it with them anymore and they felt that you weren't just believing everything that they said anymore why is the empress here and this energy i feel like it came in slow it was like slowly piling up in this connection why is the Empress here? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so you're going to the 
going from the Queen of Swords into this Empress energy, Pisces. There's divine timing here. This was meant to be. So you're going into this very comfortable position from that Queen of Swords energy. This person, there's an energy here of being held back. They were holding you back from becoming this Empress. Why is the Empress here? They were holding you back from your true happiness, Pisces. But the Wheel of Fortune is divine timing and it's turning in your favor with you showing up as the Empress. There's a true love story coming in here to your energy. I have the Prince of Wands coming towards you, coming towards the Ten of Cups. So there's there's this true love coming towards you, and I'm not sure who this is yet or if they've reached your energy yet. It could be different for all of you. But um, this person seems to, they seem right now like they have it all together. This is a different energy from that past energy. They're very attracted to you. It's like you make this person, um, um, go into like la la land. You give this person a break from reality, from their difficult reality when they think about you. Why is the Nine of Cups here? I mean, this is, um, to this person that's coming into your energy here, this is new love with the Ace of Cups. And this is someone that looks at you and it's almost like their mouth falls open. They feel at peace with you. This person's coming into your energy is really going to try to impress you, Pisces. They really look up to you, admire you. It's a very charming person too. This person seems very special in some way, but you kind of, like I said, you kind of put this person into like fantasy land, take them out of reality, bring them to like some type of happy, um, happy place. There could be an age difference here, Pisces, because you're showing up here as the Queen of Cups. So you're showing up as more mature than this person that's coming into your life. But this person, I see you giving to this energy. I see you attracted to this person. It's like you're very intuitive here and you feel this person this person's energy and what they're trying to offer you, the way they try to impress you, it's very flattering. Why is the Eight of Cups here? In the center of your reading, you have this Eight of Cups. So this is you walking away from something. Let's see what this is about. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Nine of Wands. This is you putting your defenses down. You're, you're walking away from this feeling of, the Four of Cups is a feeling of boredom, of not letting anybody in, in the Queen of Swords energy where 
you're cutting people out of your life, you're not happy with these people, you're letting this go for this special cup that's coming into your life, this special person. I see you letting your guards down, letting your defenses down. This person's going to really um, put this interest into your face. Like, wow, who are you? Find out more about this Eight of Cups. You're just, you're walking away from that, that energy of that Queen of Swords. There's, there was some coldness there, maybe some bitterness, maybe trust issues. Ten of Wands, see? walking away from all of these wands. I feel like this person brings you into the present moment because yesterday and today I was getting this 10 of wands, like this is burdens from the past, anxiety about the future, what's going to happen. This new person brings you into the present moment. It's like you're able to laugh and have fun with this person because you're showing up next as the Queen of Wands. So I'm seeing you, um, this person makes you feel beautiful and you are very beautiful. This person gives you a sense of yourself back, a time where you didn't have your defenses up. Ten of Swords. There's, there's literally an ending here to the pain of a very painful ending that drug out. This is over. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Let me see why that's there. It's like there's no need to work on this pain anymore. It's not, um, it's not affecting you. This new person, this could be someone that you work with or someone that you comes into your life that has something to do with work. It's like you're working. This person watches you with the Seven of Swords. It's like they're watching you work maybe, but they're very, they've been very quiet. They've been standing back. That's where this person, you have a secret admirer. This person has been a secret admirer that is getting ready to come out into your energy here. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, here comes Prince Charming. Or Princess Charming. This person has something to offer you. Let's find out what it is because they're they're using some type of an excuse to approach you here, Pisces. They've been standing in the background being quiet. kind of acting nonchalantly. You may even know this person. Why is the Prince of Pentacles here? Yeah, see this person is coming to offer you something and the way this person approaches you is very, it's like this very exciting energy with the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Why is the Ace of Wands here? The Six of Cups. Yeah, someone's coming into your energy here that makes you feel like young again. Um, this person, it makes you feel like like you're literally in the present moment. You're not anxious about the future. You're not, you're not feeling any anxiety about the future. 
you're able to just sit down and and talk to this person, laugh with this person. And I kind of see someone here in the background watching you like this was meant to be. This person coming into your life here was meant to be. They're coming into your reason into your energy. They're coming to you for a very significant re meaning reason. Look at how this is like a golden wand coming from the heavens. This was this person you were meant to meet. Um, I feel like you are going to feel like you already know this person. Um emotionally because you're going to feel very comfortable with this person this is a soul connection and then we have the fool here why is the fool here the six of swords The Four of Wands. Pisces, this is a beautiful love story, the energy today. The Princess of Cups. This is you meeting your other half, your real other half. There was a deceiving energy up here that, um, that you had to learn from that was placed in your life for a reason so that you could hold this queen of swords energy i feel like because it's almost like there's a reason why you had to step into your empress energy maybe a soul contract or something but this new person I'm seeing you just feeling comfortable with this person and just jumping in with both feet. This is someone that if you have a dog, your dog is going to love this person. And you can just really be yourself with this person. Um, you don't have to feel like um, you have to you have to be the queen of cups. You have this soft, childlike, giggly side, happy side with this person. Living in the moment. And this person is going to, I feel like they help you out. They, like, I feel like this is this person in the boat with you. You could have a child. But this person kind of takes you takes your hand and um, makes life easier so that you're not like the one who is carrying everything. And it gives you like this very warm feeling. I love this reading. I can just look right into these cards and see what's happening here with you. And this, uh, this is like a bridge that crosses into calmer water, the Four of Wands here. I feel like you could be, um, I hate to say marriage because it seems so soon, but eventually like marriage, happily ever after here is showing up in your energy. And this person is someone that just holds you up in the highest regard, admires you, doesn't hold you back, sets you free. And then we have the Three of Cups here. This doesn't just set you free, it sets the people around you free, this person. If you have children here, I feel like what makes these people that are showing up in your energy here, what makes them happy makes you happy. 
and this person, they offer gifts and happiness to these other people in your life. The Ten of Pentacles. Happily ever after not wanting for anything more. It's like everybody's here. There's no conflict. You could have a couple of dogs or they could have a couple of dogs. The dogs seem significant to me here. But this person is showing up in your energy right now, Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. See, this person, um, I feel like this is this is a very independent, confident energy that's um, showing up here, very wise. It's like they're going to take you places, I feel like. They're going to take you to see places to do things that you've never done before. Which literally brings you into the present moment. You're really going to enjoy this person's company and feel safe with them. Yeah, the lovers. The two of you coming together here. You're going to meet somebody very special here, Pisces. You still... When I look into your past, I'm seeing here that you've had your guards up. You've been in hermit mode. But someone new is coming into your energy that it's like there's this free feeling feeling here where you can really be you. There's no obligation. There's no feeling of obligation here. It's like you can still be your nine of pentacles. You can still be independent in who you are with this person. It's a soul connection that was put, that was meant to be placed into your life that's coming into your energy. Let's get uh, some moonology cards for advice. I love that. I mean, it's like we end here with the lovers too. It's a it's a love story. You have a new love story coming into your life. Except for this one sets you free. There's no feeling like um, anyone's trying to control you. Anyone's trying to be sneaky. See, a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Does Pisces need to? You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. See, there's something about the people around you that could be your children for some of you. And then North Node I had three cards fall out here, and I, I'm seeing here, this says step out of your comfort zone, north node, work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio, be bold and make the first move, cardinal moon. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And um, thank you guys for your comments, all of your support. Your, you guys who donated, I appreciate you guys a lot. I'm not good on computers. I'm not sure if there's a way I can say thank you on the computer back. Um, but I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to learn, you know, more about computers. I pretty much do these readings and then... <clears throat> My daughter um, gets everything on there on the computer for me. But um, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.